Y'all, go crazy. Hey, family. Happy day. The sun is out and your girl is in the mood for something light, airy, and fluffy and it might as well be a strawberry shortcake because you know what I'm tired of? Walking into the grocery store and all the setups for the strawberry shortcakes but nothing is for the vegans or the gluten free. Y'all think we don't want strawberry shortcakes? We do. And I'm here to let the Saints march in on one accord. So what we're gonna do is make our own strawberry shortcake, even made our own gluten free vegan angel food cake. Get all the way in to it. And that's what this recipe is, okay? So, y'all welcome. I made myself a nice little vegan, gluten-free angel food cake, because don't nobody want no devil nothing. I'm about to just get into this, baby, because we are going to top this with some nice whipped cream. We're gonna make our own strawberry shortcake, and it's gonna be straight fire, because y'all not gonna do us like this. Not this year, mm -mm. not when I'm out here, okay? So, this is usually a very, it's a very gentle, fragile cake, so. When you make it, it doesn't rise like a regular cake when you make it vegan and gluten-free. So I have to be nice to it. So I'm gonna take this cake and I'm slicing it in half. Usually you can just make two, but I don't want my um, strawberry shortcake to be super bready because I'm off it. You know what I'm saying? I'm off that bread, I'm off that type of sauce. So I'm going to turn this one into two, but I am going to do it the smart way. See how it's like very, it's a gentle cake, y'all. This cake is fragile, you have to be nice to her. So I'm using a serrated knife. You can't use a regular knife, no matter how sharp it is. That's not what it wants. It wants to be treated like a lady. So look at that. Happies! Okay, look how light it is. It's so good, okay. So I am using Cocoa Whip. If you don't wanna use Cocoa Whip, you don't have to. It's dairy free. This is made with coconut oil. Usually when you buy it, it's super frozen. So I'm gonna put this in a bowl and I wanna whip it up a little bit. She likes to whip it. Whip it good. We're gonna whip it real nice. This is just whipped cream. It's already whipped. If you wanna make your own whipped cream, do you. I'm trying to get into this right now. So I don't want y'all to come for me in my comments or in my DMs or in my inbox. So now I got this, I, I'm, I'm feeling kind of fancy, so I kind of want to, you know, I'm going to have a whole layer, so I'm going to spread that across there like such, like so. Look, y'all, look. Ah! I used to remember making this one, my, like when I was little, and my mom would go to the store, and we would make ourselves strawberry shortcakes and they would be so good, y'all. Like, look how, it's so pretty. Honey child. I mean, I remember it. And I would be so excited because we got to do this. So look, we got that first piece. I'm gonna stick this on top of it. Y'all, come on! Now this is only one container. This is really only one container of Cocoa Whip, y'all. It's only one. And y'all see, I'm being super ghetto with it and I am spreading that baby across. Honey, she's so pretty. But imagine sitting this on the table at the um, family barbecue, the family gathering. She's so pretty, y'all, she's so pretty. Look, y'all, that's nice. So don't let your strawberries go bad, guys. You can make so cool, much cool stuff with it. So I'm finishing off my corners. I'm going back across it and my spaces that might be open because it's a strawberry shortcake and nobody's gonna be mad if there's too many strawberries on there, right? Nobody. Name one person who mad. Who mad about it? I'll wait. Let me stick one in each corner. That's cute. Look, let's stick one in each corner because that's cute. That's the only reason we're putting it there. And there's always one person in the family that's gonna be like, can I get that edge? And it's probably me. Oh. Y'all. Go crazy. Oh! My life. Listen guys, I'm sticking strawberries everywhere. Why? Because why not? Hey sugar, how you doing? Yes, you are gorgeous. Yes, you are sweet. 
guys. Come on and tell me that's not fire looking. Vegan gluten free, strawberry shortcake. Who mad about it? Catch it. That's cake right there. I'll do that right in front of my family. It'll be the last thing that everybody does. And you know what? You know what everybody be ready to do once I bake this? Eat it. And that's what we about to do. What y'all thinking? Would y'all pull up to the barbecue? Yes! Yes, you would! My dear, y'all already know. If you make this recipe, holler at your girl, let me know. I'm gonna put a link in the bio for y'all to get to this gluten-free vegan angel cake and the recipe to the strawberry shortcake. I'm gonna hook y'all up. This is straight fire and it's so good for summer. So if you tag, if you make it, tag your girl in it. Hashtag cooking with cute on all things social. And you already know until next time, may your taste buds be forever satisfied. Put some strawberry shortcake in Jesus' name. Pull up. And I'm using all the pieces, even the pieces that y'all think are ugly. When you turn them upside down, nobody knows. That's just like the butt of the bread. You know how people don't like to eat that last part of the bread? They're like, don't nobody want to eat the butt. And I'm like, okay, let me rephrase that because that could be a horrifying meme that could happen. And I know how y'all are. The ghetto, the internet has no, the internet just, nobody's safe. So it don't matter how much I love Jesus, they will come for me. Oh, hey, since you're here, <laughs> Since you're here, might as well subscribe. Click over there to subscribe. Click right here if you want to watch the next video. I mean, you're here, you might as well. We've been here for a long time.